happy 2013, all my beautiful friends out there. And more importantly, happy new age of Aquarius. Yeah, we're in the age of unity and oneness and connectedness and consciousness. And it's going to be a fun time. We're going to have a fun, long time in this era, so you might as well get used to it. Um, but I just wanted to wish everyone a happy 2013. 2012 was a, was an interesting year for us all. It was a it was a time of preparation of, of really kind of getting ready for who we really want to embody, the, the uh, personality, the characteristic, the person we want to be. And uh, in 2013, I really I felt that I really kind of came to my own spiritually, and uh, as as everyone can tell by my fun little videos and my all the Facebook posts that I post all the time. And uh, a lot of you guys, surprisingly, which it's been like, wow, you know, um, have reached out to me just to say, you know, thank you for posting this stuff, it's really inspiring or, or inspiring or have even, um, you know, asked for my advice at times, which is really like, wow, and you know, it was really, it was really, um, it was a grateful experience that I had with all of you. And, uh, and I'm going to continue posting the fun little stuff so that we can all enjoy the, the inspirational quotes or sometimes the, the conspiracy theorist quote stuff that I post too. So seeing as that this is the new age, this is not only a new year, but it is a new age, I, um, wanted to... I wanted to not only um, kind of give you guys something that a few things that I did that made it really that made my transition into this um, this life of just being you know joyful of just experiencing the present moment of experiencing all the beauty that that this reality has to offer and also of doing a lot of inner searching. Um, so I wanted to give you few things and pose a challenge. Challenge no to all of you my friends, family, my spirit family out there. So as you all know, I'm a trainer, I'm a personal trainer. Um, so this challenge is gonna be a workout for your emotional self. Um, an, an, an emotional workout mental workout, a spiritual workout. Mm -hmm. That one sounds fun, huh? Um, and this challenge is really um, nothing more than me wanting you to experience the joy, the joy and the, uh, and the, uh, the love and the, just the connection that we all share. So, challenge is it's a three part challenge part one of the challenge is to do some sort whether it's reading watching videos um, talking with other people some sort of activity that it enhances your um, self-development. So that could be 15 minutes of reading a book that you've been uh, wanting to read that you haven't. Um, you know, a, a self-help book or a spiritual book or reading the Bible, or reading the Quran, reading the one of the Gitas, whatever it may be some 15 minutes, at least 15 minutes you can do this. Mind you, you can do this for an hour if you'd like. If you have the time for an hour, do it for an hour. 15 minutes of some sort of self-improvement. Part two is to take at least 10 minutes a day, at least 10, to close your eyes, turn off everything around you, sit comfortably or lay down and you can meditate you can pray 
you can just lie there and let go of your mind. 10 minutes a day that will allow you to quiet your mind, quiet yourself, and get into your inner self. Feel your breath moving, um, let your thoughts go, don't worry about them too much. Don't worry about them at all. Just let it all go. Now part three, and you can do this again as many times as you want throughout the day, at least once. Find five things that you're grateful for. So that could be you have a warm home, you have a healthy body, you have wonderful parents, you have food to eat, and you have a car to drive. Simple as that. You can do it as many times, you can do that as many times as you want throughout the day. And you can repeat things over and over and over again. But at least once a day, find five things. That's ten. That's ten things. Five things to be grateful for. Now those three processes really helped me grow. I felt that I've become the person that I want to be. I haven't achieved everything that I want, but I've become the person that I want to be. I've become the light in the world that I want to shine for it, you know, in the dark areas. That's who I wanted to be in 2012, and I embody that. And now 2013 means I can share that with everyone. So that's what I want for all of you guys. And those three processes were really, really important in my awakening, if you will, of who I am and who I want to be. Some days I would read for, if I had the time, an hour or two. Some days I'd watch videos, you know, constantly watching videos that I felt would open my awareness for a while, <laughs> a long time. Some late nights watching some videos on, you know, different topics. And also, meditating, finding time to be quiet. Even if you're on your lunch break, you say, I have no time in the day. I have no, absolutely no time during the day. Da, 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 da. Well, if you're on your lunch break, spend, say, I'm going to meditate the first 10 minutes. Or I'm just going to quiet my mind, lay down for 10 minutes. Just shut everything off and be with myself. Learn to be with yourself. And that last one, finding things to be grateful for, because we have so much to be grateful for. If you're watching this video, you have a lot to be grateful for. You know, you can, you have a laptop or a computer, you have eyes to see, you have ears to hear. That's three. You know, I'm not going to do it for you, but just that really, once you find things to be grateful for, it shifts your awareness into understanding that there's so much to be grateful for. Once you start practicing a state of having enough, then the universe, God, source, spirit, the divine, whatever you want to call it, energy, it'll bring you more. I know that. I've experienced it. And I want you all to experience it too with me. So just practicing getting into that state, it's a practice, it's a constant practice. So just practicing constantly, what can I be grateful for, what can you be grateful for, what can I be grateful for, rather than, oh I wish I had my perfect lover, I wish I had my more money, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. You're just going to keep getting your wishes, rather than finding things to be grateful for, and you get more things to be grateful for. It's just how it works. So I really hope that you, that you actively participate in the challenge. I really do. Um, I see there's so much awakening and so much more light coming into this, coming into our world because we're embodying who we want to be. We're becoming who we want to be. And, uh, and I see, also see a lot of struggle. And that's okay too, because without the struggle, you'll never, you know, if you don't climb the mountain, you've got to climb upwards towards the mountain. So it's helping you it's helping us get stronger, those struggles help us become stronger. So that we can be when we get to the top of the mountain we're in tip top shape. 
Our legs are super strong. Our cardio is incredible. And that's a spiritual metaphor. Winky tink. I hope that um, you all participate in the challenge for the however many people see this. I hope a lot of people see this. I really, this is the one video that I really would like a lot of people to see. So if you're watching this and you like it, share it. I would love that. And uh, we can all get going on this together so that we can all understand that, that we're all one, we're all connected. And uh, it's just about our constant practice of understanding that, of recognizing that. So, with all my love, send it out to all of you, and uh, I can't wait to co-create and experience all the wonderful things with you that, that I know is about to happen, that already has happened, we just get to manifest it now, all my love, I'll see you guys next time.